My frame had taught me really well how to use colored passepartouts with the watercolor. The gallery owners actually prefer the warm white passepartouts because it gives the quiet, uh, clear overview with an exhibition. And maybe it prevents visitors discussing about the color of their walls at home and maybe the couch. But I prefer thinking from the watercolor. A passepartout is doing a lot when you do that. You use a color to make color stronger or weaker in the watercolor itself. So for example, this is a difficult watercolor to frame because it's a dark, hard watercolor. And you think that the silhouette of this building is black. Uh, but when you see it in a colored passepartout, and this is a totally wrong color, but from the moment you see it together, then you notice different colors in the black. But this is not the right color because the, the right color, from the moment you don't see the passepartout anymore, then you know you choose the right color. So you you try out lots of colors and then suddenly you see the watercolor and you don't see the passepartout anymore and then you know you choose the right one. So I have to go to the shop to look for some other colors and I'm thinking about black um, and maybe it's a dangerous color but maybe uh, dark red because there are there are a few greens in this dark shadow part and the the dark red could make the greens stronger in the watercolor because of this uh, complementary contrast but it's dangerous um, and black could be a good ch choice because then the the, the grey of this watercolor looks more like grey and not like black anymore because the passepartout is black. But that's only what I'm thinking, so you just have to see it in a good light reference. Um, and then I have to, to cut the passepartout in pieces and I'm going to the framer today to cut them in the right size and uh, make the frames. I can work in this uh, factory today. It's very kind.
Oh yeah, we're good. Okay. Dit is eigenlijk ook een prachtige schilderij. Nou, dankjewel. Ik kreeg een mailtje vandaag van je. Een prachtige foto van dat uh, huis. Welke provincie is dit? Ja, mooi zeg. Heel mooi. Dat wil zeggen dat ik kom kijken um, altijd op een zonnige dag. En dan ga ik schetsen en foto's maken. En naar aanleiding daarvan maak ik hier in mijn atelier een compositieschets of twee. Oké, okay, dankjewel. Dag, hoi hoi. Hoi met Titus. Hoi. Ik zit achter de laptop. Ik heb die foto's voor me die je deze week had gestuurd. Ja, ik vind van wel, ja. Ik kan alleen maar uitleggen in de zin van dat je in een schilderij moet kunnen zien dat het een straat is en dat er dan een diepte in zit als je de straat laat zien. En wat ik ook in een schilderij belangrijk vind is dat je er doorheen kunt lopen, zo niet weg kunt lopen. Dat je met je blik die straat uit kunt. En bij die eerste foto kan dat niet, dus dat, daar zit je een beetje gevangen. Ik had een picture of a beautiful uh, house in the country for a new house portrait and I had a call with a client in Amsterdam for a house in the uh, part where I was in another video I was sketching in this street totally different houses uh, it's an interesting uh, thing to have a call with the client because the client is thinking from the house from the memories um, And I can mostly, I can only think from the painting. So I have to be very clear in my opinion about the composition. And um, since we have this, everyone can take pictures. So then you see the people think from these pictures. And um, I must explain that I don't work from their pictures because then you get a totally different kind of style and work that they know from me from the web uh, but th these uh, uh, conversations were easy sometimes it's hard because sometimes you have people that are really very strong in their opinion about what they want to see and then you have to be strong as well because you don't want to sell a painting um, with only their ideas uh, because there, there are these won't work in a, in a pa painting because they are not a painter. So that it's it's always interesting, and it, I take the time for for this part so that I feel after a lot of con conversations I feel free to start, and I know that they are lucky with with my choice and their choice as well. <laughs> 